We are going to study another kind of neuron today and it is interneuron. Interneurons are also termed as association neurons or relay neurons as mostly they relay information from one part of brain to another part, from one neuron to another neuron, from sensory neurons to motor neurons. Therefore, they are termed as a relay neuron or association neurons or interneurons. Interneurons mostly are present in brain and they are mostly present in CNS central nervous system. They mostly are present in brain and spinal cord. Interneurons when they are present in brain, they can be present in different lobes of cerebral cortex. In each lobe, as we have divided it into three regions, each lobe consists of sensory region, association area and motor area. Sensory area consists of sensory neuron, association area consists of interneurons and motor area consists of motor neurons. What actually impulses are received by sensory neuron, it reaches to sensory area of cerebral cortex. Then the impulse is sent to this association area, which is actually consisting of many interneurons. These interneurons are short exon interneurons. They are present in a particular region. They receive the stimuli and they analyze it. And once these interneurons analyze the stimuli, it is finally sent to motor neurons to perform particular function. And this way, interneurons are present in the brain and they are making an association area where they are analyzing what the stimuli are received and so that this analysis, that, that perception can be sent to motor neurons to command to factors to perform functions. They are not only present in a CNS, they are also present in a spinal cord. And in a spinal cord, they can also make a reflex actions. Where whatsoever the message is received by sensory neuron, it makes a connection with the interneuron and interneuron conducts that impulse to a motor neuron and motor neuron reaches to an effector and effector is taking decision and function is taking place. In this way, interneurons or relay neurons are not only present in brain but they are also present in a spinal cord where they are relaying that information from sensory neuron to a motor neurons to perform functions. In this way, Interneuron or relay neurons are another kind of neurons that are present in brain, central nervous system, and they are important to relay information from one part to another part. Interneurons are not only short exon neurons, they can be long exon as well. Mostly when they were long exon, they play important role to conduct impulses from one part of brain to another part of brain. Again, they are going to relay the information, but they are relaying information from one region, from one part of brain to another part of brain. And for that, they need a long exons. Interneurons can also be a long exon interneurons. Mostly, the exons of uh, uh, these uh, interneurons lack myelin, so they are non myelinated neurons, so for the exon is concerned. This is another kind of neuron. They are termed as an interneuron and they are present in CNS and they are actually relaying information or making association area which is actually analyzing these stimuli but uh, uh, sensory neuron transfers to a brain. So this is another kind of neuron called interneuron.